Welcome to Korea, where today is the first day of the 6th Yi Soon Sin International Yacht Race. The Marine Sports Center in the beautiful city of Tongyang hosts this event for the past few years, always with great success. It's not surprising then that more and more sailors visit Korea every year to compete in this exciting race. For the 2012 edition of this event, participants have exceeded 100. Competitors are then divided in five categories according to vote type 2. This is the sixth Yi Sun Shin Cup race. It's an international yacht race. I'm divided into three classes, uh, open class, ORC class, and J24 class. Tomorrow, we have two short races inshore, and Sunday, we'll have the long race, offshore race around Sojil Island. And uh, it's a great race and a lot of fun. A lot of people from different countries, Japan, Korea, uh, New Zealand, uh, other Americans, great so everybody please have a great time so while athletes pushed on with their preparations for this event the University of Tung Young organized a port race for its students the people gathered here to watch the event were treated to the sight of colorful sails filling the harbor before the main event began Many of the competitors also took their eyes off their checklist to see how these students, some of them probably future champions, were doing. The competition would unfold in two laps on a windward-leeward course. The weather conditions today? Pretty light winds are expected, so let's see how the sailors will respond to them. Already, Choi Yin Suk was taking advantage of her light weight being naturally very fast in these conditions. In the end, she managed to win both races and without her opponents giving her too much trouble. At the while, sailors of the regatta continued with their preparations and many of them actually took the opportunity to sail in the Gulf of Tung Young in order to trim their sails, have an all-important last-minute check of their equipment before the race gets underway tomorrow. Also from Russia, Gastion and First, who arranged some close speed testing in order to prepare their sails and optimize their performance. Other teams like Ban Po from Korea and No Applause, again from Russia, did the same. At this level of competition, it is always crucial to evaluate early enough the possible wind changes as well as the special conditions occurring in the waters the race is taking place. So, these athletes, after sailing upwind, they hoisted their spinnakers before continuing downwind. Of course, sailing with spinnakers in such conditions requires extraordinary precision and the highest skills in steering the boat. Later in the afternoon, it was time for the opening ceremony. There, the local community and its representatives, alongside the organizers for this event, warmly welcomed the competitors. An entertaining evening complete with various performances and traditional Korean music followed. All that's needed before tomorrow's important races. So, there's more to come here in Korea. Stay tuned and join us tomorrow for the start of the 6th Yi Soon Sin International Yacht Race.